man, is it a jungle in there? Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Planet Crafter. And as you can see, the world is a much different place than when I last saw you. Uh, I am in need of food, I did have a little bit of a fall. Uh, as you can see by the terraforma terraformation index, we are chugging along real nice. I have done a lot of work and done a lot of things. Uh, I need to find my little shelter here. Uh, and I'll explain what I've done. Uh, so. Basically, I've decided I'm going to start ramping things up a little bit. And so what I've done between since the last episode is I have made, uh, I think it was, 10 more Tier 3 tree spreaders. And I made seeds for them. And then I made 3 more of each rocket. And I launched them up into space. And yeah, we are doing great. Uh, it's actually quite dark. Uh, sun should be coming up pretty quick. I noticed that day-night cycle is fairly fast. Uh, this is still a couple of days before the update, so uh, nothing has changed yet. A zeolite is still an issue. Uh, I've been going around trying to find a couple of pieces, but here is what I have. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the light to come up, and then I'll bring it home. Oh, start the recording again. Okay, that's a little better. i got to start moving here, grab some of the eat before I... Uh, suffer again but my god these tree spreaders have been spreading a lot of trees i actually got lost in here a couple of times it's a good thing i got these uh beacons <laughs> so i can find my way out of the woods i've learned too that it gets so clustered in here that if i go over to the aluminum section that i gotta uh hug to the, uh, stick to the cliff to to the left of me the little rock face jutting out where we we found the last person on the planet. Uh, yeah, I built some more drills, and I don't know if you can notice it, but I had built more heaters too. Uh, of course, I had to build more reactors for it because we ran out of power. A big surprise. And uh, let me get past the, the mess here. There's the extra power supply there. And go inside, and I'll show you where we're at here. Uh, actually, we'll go grab something to eat. I uh, did some changes back here too. Uh, another row of uh, eggplants because, uh, yeah, I went through a lot of fertilizer. No, don't want to eat those. I'll uh, eat the mushrooms for now because I don't really need the bioplastic at the moment. Uh, basically, what I've done is I had, well, like I said, I made. Okay, I had to check, make sure I was recording. Uh, so I ended up making the. 10 more tier 3 tree, tree spreaders and I had just a basic 125% seeds in them then I went and found 3 golden seeds I had over in the flower spreaders over there and I converted those into the the tree seed form so they were doing 200% and then the 3 three biomass rockets, 3 oxygen rockets, 3 heat rockets, 3 pressure rockets plus the extra heaters on the roof, the extra drills on the, the wall there and we're chugging along pretty good. In fact, we're going to be unlocking that uh, power cell fairly soon. I've been before I put the golden, used the golden seeds. I was doing about two, two GTI a minute. Now it seems to be about three. So this won't take too long to do. Uh, as far as resources go, this is like all I have for the zeolite. Uh, this is definitely a very rare commodity. I know they're talking about getting the the caves set up over there, but that's end of this week this is actually sunday night i'm recording this and uh, it's supposed to be dropping on friday so uh yeah what else did i do uh not too sure give me one minute no i think that was just about it except for uh i uh, met my demise to a super super alloy storm went out a little too early trying to collect the rocks and yeah those things coming fast it was just like one hit it was instantly done uh, there are definitely some spare uranium and iridium laying around uh, in the ocean or the lake or whatever you can see it at night you can sort of see the glow showing through uh, but anyways I want to stop rambling here and I'll bring you back when we're ready to unlock this thing oh yeah that's what I was gonna mention I was so desperate for zeolite for the the tree spreaders I had to take apart and dismantle my uh, 
my gas extractor, so we have no way to produce any uh, methane right now unless I build one of those two things, which I probably do, but anyway. Speaking of which, it comes in fast. It's just amazing how many come flying in, dude. Uh, I love watching the, the map here. When they come in, you can actually see the rocks flying in. It's great. I even launched a rocket and I ran to the GPS screen. You can actually watch this rock take off through. So it's almost like there's a camera hovering right above us. Uh, it's just crazy. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go and grab this. I should be able to get about two and a half stacks. Or not two and a half stacks. Like three rows, possibly. Uh, so, yeah. I'll be back. Okay, I didn't get too much. Uh, what, what I, one of the things I have been doing is uh, these miners here have been saving all the excess materials that come out that I don't actually need. And as you can see, I got <laughs> a nice selection of containers here. And I don't know, we might have to do, do something with all this one day. Uh, I got all this material and all these supplies. I That's what we should try to do. Try to see if we can build our way out of the, out of the atmosphere. Uh, just a whole bunch of living compartments with ladders inside and see how high we can go. It's even gonna break the game. Who needs a rocket when you can just build the world's largest ladder, right? I'm gonna go check on this solver here. Uh, but yeah, we are chugging along. Uh, it's not gonna be too much longer here, so I think I'll do a cut and bring you back and when it's time to get the unlock and we'll, we'll keep our fingers crossed that I have enough supplies to actually make these things. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, we are almost there. I tell you, there was a lot of micromanagement done to get, the, get to this point. Uh, needless to say, running back and forth between the miners numerous times, sorting through all the overflow and doing all the micro crafting and you know, while watching the number go up, but it wasn't going up fast enough, like just putting those extra 10 trees per, just actually just those putting those extra rockets in had that number going up like 10 times what it was. Like uh, this digit here was actually going about the same speed as this digit here. It was just taking forever and ever and ever. So I tried to put more work in. Now I'm kind of curious as to what further tiers they're gonna add to the game. And they're also talking about replayability, so it kind of makes me wonder, is it going to be like a uh, uh, procedural map? Is there going to be different type of maps we can work on? You know, different type of information, uh, different re resource dis distribution? I was talking about a breathable atmosphere. Now, it makes me wonder if, if certain things have to be within a certain range to reach that. Like, if they have to be a certain percentage of each one, like... Could the oxygen be too low or too high for breathable atmosphere? Could the pressure be too high and or too low? Because I know humans, we have specific um, thresholds. Yes, that's what I mean. That's what our bodies have been used to, and so you know, we in order for well, I must say I'm a human, but in order for this species to live on this planet but it has to be terraformed to what it's adapted to on its home world anyway enough rambling let's uh wait for this countdown uh, got lots of trees going on oh, i've actually thought about uh, setting up another another mini base over here launch gps up there to see if maybe we could see more of the map on either this screen or if we'd have to go to the other screen over there but that'd be Something that'd be nice, but again, we got an update coming up, a lot of quality of life stuff coming in, and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, quick cut, and I'll be right back. Okay, I couldn't ramble on for another minute or a minute and a half. Uh, looking at it here now, we made 18.4 kiloton, so 18,400 tons of biomass. And fusion energy cell. We have it. So now, do I craft it in here? Uh, no, that's going to be an advanced crafter. Okay, uh, this is going to be expensive. Not really, actually. Not really. Uh, I'm assuming I need one of these for each one. 
the the zeolite's gonna be an issue. Uh, what I might do, I might actually start deconstructing a couple of the tier twos that I have. We got the tier threes, and the tier threes are out, out doing the tier two. We get one zeolite back for each one, and who knows? Maybe we'll actually find some in some of these wreckages. So let me see what I got here. I have one. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I have enough. At least I think I do. Alright, uh, oh yeah, we gotta go over to the bio lab to make the crystals. Makes me wonder if this is a bio lab and not some other kind of lab, huh? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, that's actually, I think, one of the th things we're talking about uh, adding was uh, uh, crafting cues or batch queuing in the next update. So, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so we're gonna make two of these. Ah, that big fusion cell. Alright. So, uh, let's... Just to be on the safe side, since I have the inventory space, I'll take one of those, I'll take one of those, not that I'll need them, but just in case I get lost, or, uh, have too much fun exploring. And grab one of those, because just in case we don't find any space food. So, we're gonna go check out this one here first. Uh, okay, good. I had to make sure I was recording, that's why I walked into a wall. And off we go. So, yeah, I have absolutely no idea what these things are about. Uh, I haven't seen anybody actually activate one of them. But I am going to do that as soon as I find my way to the room. There it is. Alright, what do you do? Okay. And what did that do? Is there more that I have to activate? Hmm. What's going on here? I wonder if something opened. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. No idea. It's almost like there's supposed to be a power switch or something. I'm supposed to activate. Hmm. I think that one was already open. Unless there's two of them in here. I have no idea. Uh, let me look around. I'll bring you back. I could be wrong, but I think it opened up this hatch. Because I don't remember this being open. I went in there and there's a whole bunch of debris. I clear it out all the way up to here. Like, I mean, a whole bunch. And I go in here and I find a whole bunch of zeolite and aluminum and all this other stuff. So I'm wondering if that's it. So now the question is, do I just take this out and take it to the next one? If I can find it. That's probably what it is. So uh, that's what we do. Actually, we'll find out. Let me uh, find that reactor again. Take you out. And I'll actually want to see if that that hatch was open. Uh, which way was it? It's down here. Aha! Yeah, that was the one that was open. So that's what it does. It opens up other doors for us. Uh, I don't think there's another reactor in here. So, uh, yeah. Let me find my way out and we'll head off to the next ship. And I think... I think we'll go to the big one. So I'll meet you there. Okay, here we are. Oh. Huh. Nice place to put a tree. Anyway, uh, let's go on and see what this one has to offer. Besides a big tree in my way. That was, <laughs> that was smart of me, wasn't it? Hmm. I can't de deconstruct the tree, can I? No, I can't. Uh, I am aware I could just take this, the tree seed out and this will all go away. Uh, so far, it's not obstructing my, my path. Uh, does this not have a reactor? It must. I think they all do. The tree swallowed it. That's where it went. Nope, not back there. That was that chest. Hmm. See, I have a feeling that one's going to open. It's just a matter of finding the Z power room. And I don't think it's... I don't think it's in here. Hmm. 
Let me look around. Okay, well I didn't find anything there, so I thought we'd come over to the big ship here and see what this thing has to offer. Because I'm pretty sure this one had one in it too. Like I said, I'm pretty sure they all did. Uh, hmm. And here's where I get lost. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's check, see if there's anything to deconstruct here too. Been doing that as well, looking for false walls. Because they've done it once already, so they'll probably do it again and again and again. Nothing down here, and let's see what we have at the end of this hallway. Uh, nothing. Okay, let's go back up and go look down this way. That's the way I came. And that is it. It's on this end, so we go over here and this one, I believe, might actually take me to the reactor. That's probably going to open up that door. Or maybe that one too. I don't know. And I just got to find it. <laughs> oh, maybe it's up. Oh, I think it's in here. Really? Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's weird. I was pointing at the crate. Ooh, goodies. Not that I need any of this. Well, actually, I could use that. Uh, I gotta keep an eye on my oxygen, too. Uh, yeah, that's like the third time I've seen that tree. It's a new one, I think. Picking the fertilizer. I know it stinks, but hey. It's easier than me making it. So what, is there like only one reactor on these, out of all these ships? Is that what's going on? Weird. All right, well, maybe, maybe I'll put the cell in the other reactor then, is maybe that's what's going on. Again, I have no idea. I've never actually seen anybody do anything with this. So, yeah. Um, it's worth a shot, I guess, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I don't expect it to actually do anything, but I figure why not, just for the sake of it. Uh, again, I'm gonna look around too, so you can actually find this, uh, this reactor, if there is one in here. And I've looked in this room, there's nothing in here. And the only way to go is down. Sorry, itchy finger. And I got two ways to go, three ways, two, two ways. This has nothing. And you would almost think that this would be like the access to a reactor, but there's nothing. Uh, nothing to deconstruct, except for the containers, which are full or of little or no value to me. There's nothing over here, and go down this way, and there is nothing. Okay, so as soon as I stop walking into things, we'll go back to the ladder, and there's only one way to go, and that's over this way. I can deconstruct that if I want, but I don't want to. Alright, let's go this way, and I'm going to have the tool on deconstruct, just in case something does actually show up. Now, I expect this door to open, but where is the reactor? Actually, I expect that door to open. So, there's got to be something on this ship missing. You know what I mean? It's probably right in front of my face, I don't even notice it. Is pestle or pestera? I've got pesteras. I don't need them. All right. Well, let's see what's up top. Again, no reactor and no hidden walls that I can see. Hmm. Nothing out here. I got two doors that show up, but how? Hmm. 
I guess I have to activate the other ones first for this to actually do something. Possibly. Or I am completely missing something. Anyway, let's head off to the next one. I'll meet you there. Okay, here we are. The giant ring. Uh, which is slowly getting more and more overgrown. Uh, I don't think there's actually anything left in here that I even care about. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and see if we can find this reactor. I don't really know how many ships actually had it. Uh, I don't know why I'm even looking at the crates because I know that there's nothing in there. Um, did I take a wrong turn or something? Is that all that was in here? Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that it was just one room and... Interesting. It's submerged, is it? Did I already find this? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. This was... This was that. Okay. Never mind. It wasn't flooded last time I was down here. Okay... Good thing I have a spacesuit on. Don't need the heater. I don't care about the message. Ah, that's what I care about. Okay, something opened. What opened? Hmm. No, oh, wasn't that. Hmm. Alright, well, let me look around and see if I can find anything good. Well, I just found a locker full of good stuff. It's always good. I don't know if this was something I just just unlocked. Uh, judging by the fact that I haven't taken anything out of, out of it. I, I haven't. It looks like this is all it is. That's actually really good to have. Uh, the super alloy I can almost put back. I, I want to say I have enough of those, but put the seeds back because I don't eat them anymore anyways I think that's all that was in here and I think that's all that fusion did oh thought that was going to be a secret but apparently not and other than that I don't think there's really much else that that unlocked but I never know nothing in there I care about I can't actually get all this stuff out of my way. Hmm. Anyway. Okay, I have returned. And uh, I decided to look on Steam to see what this is all about. And apparently, that's all it really is all about. It's just unlocking, uh, I guess, current tier goods and stuff. That's why we're finding, like, uh, rocket engines and you know, explosive powder and uh, even uh, the pulsar quartz there. Uh, right now it's just sort of like a placeholder, uh, there's only the two ships that they have it at the moment, but you know, we got the update coming up, so we'll see what kind of things are going to show up, but until then, I think this would be a good time to call the episode, oh, I actually have enough for another, another one, that was actually good, I made two of them, because that's all there was, is two of them, um, I do, I'm going to hang out of these blueprint chips, because, uh, there's going to be more stuff being unlocked, of course, uh, we'll see exactly what tier we need to actually unlock all this stuff for, I won't say tier, but Terraformation Index. Who knows, maybe next time I see you, we'll be at 1 TTI. Only time will tell. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.